Greetings, my human friends. This is Rudolf of Germany, the tall white alien. In my last video, I promised you to speak a bit about the possibilities to overcome the human plight of loneliness, the human existence in a bubble, in a shell which cannot be escaped, if lived as humans live. Naturally, a superhuman is a human who has clearly understood how to break the shell the shell of the self, of the ego, and expand into eternity and into the universe of mind. What keeps us creatures, no matter of what origin, be it human or extraterrestrials, separated from each other. Well, remember all the time in many other videos I have spoken about the mental closure, the mental prison humans live in. And the key to open it is the understanding that the prison is built by our own understanding of self. The ones who believe in being a unit in an outside world who have to defend themselves from outside forces, not understanding that the outside as well as the inside of oneself is one and the same, these creatures, and this is the vast majority, have to suffer endless loneliness. Because loneliness and separation can only exist if we make a mental barrier between us and others. The mind is nothing but magnetic energy. The mind is nothing but energy from the total resource of cosmic energy being drawn into oneself drawn into the mental faculties of the mind, of the brain of each single one. There it is processed, there it is being brought into acceleration and being forced to defend its own being because of its false understanding of self. And there is one way to overcome the self and one way to break open the shell of the bubble each one of you live in. By directing the magnetic energetic forces of the mind which is being drawn into the brain down into the heart. Because the heart is the more powerful plant, power plant, which can create so much magnetic waves which are being basically thrown out back into the open because the brain itself is encapsulating and holding back the 
magnetic energy and only the, the heart itself can accelerate and throw this energy back out and that is called love. And as further this energy is being thrown out, as more it will mix in with the rest of the cosmic energetic energy and will be able to mingle and join up with the energy of other beings. That's how the closure between one and the other and that's how the holy marriage the holy marriage of energies between beings come into existence through the heart and the magnetic which is also called the emotional energy mixing up being expanded into the universe and basically enclosing all that is into your own heart. That is the trick. But in order to fulfill this task, one has to overcome its ego, his ego, and has to be able to look at the world through his heart and not through the mind and gain understanding for all different shades of human and any other creature's existence. By giving up the self and becoming one with the other, having compassion and love for all what you can see, for all creatures, for all plants, for all mineral life. And once you accomplish this unconditional love, your emotional energy which is fed through the magnetic energy of the brain coming down in your heart will be accomplishing these, the so-called chemical marriage which is another thing to talk about in the future but this is the key to becoming one with the universe and all its creatures in it and not looking for separating yourself through egotistical means and looking for particular people to love because they can fulfill your desires and being of service to you. This is what's usually called love, but is nothing but selfishness and an ugly way of connecting to others. Love should never be conditional. Only unconditional love to existence itself, which is being practically thrown out of your heart and given unlimited and without holding back into the universe. This is the way of the superhuman and this is the way which the extraterrestrial human hybrid, which we try to produce to the DNA enhancement, this is what the end result of this exercise which I am, to, I am trying to fulfill with some of you is all about. A superhuman is a human who breaks open his eggshell of selfishness, inhales the universe and exhales love. And there is nothing else to gain. There is no such thing as superhumanhood by taking power over others, gaining financially or otherwise, but love itself. Rudolf of Germany.